Renee just finished her vision therapy this week and we are out and about and we go right past cost not Costco Trader Joe's on the way home so we are stopping in to pick up just a few things I tried to put on my list anything that I thought we might need from Trader Joe's for the next couple of weeks so that I don't have to come back again but I didn't really need to do a really big haul there were just a few little things that we needed so the list is pretty small but we're trying to um, I know I'm going to need to go to Costco again probably next week, and so I wanted to make sure that I didn't need to go to Trader Joe's again next week, so I went ahead, went through all of my grocery list, and made sure to put on everything that I thought that we might need. Why are you being so cute? I don't know. And look at how straight your eyeballs are. Your eyeballs just look so straight these days. What's the deal? I Have you just been working so hard on your vision therapy? Yes. Uh-oh, I hear a, I hear a siren. They're not coming after us. It's okay. She has been working really hard on her vision therapy, and we really need to do an update on that. Hopefully, we'll get that done in the next few weeks here uh, because she has made some really big improvement, and like my mommy heart is exploding every time we have a, a progress exam and I see how much she's improved. So, anyways, that's for another time. We are headed in to Trader Joe's, and what is it? What's the animal that they have here? Do you remember? Uh. Yeah. No, it's not the Sasquatch. I think it's the meerkat. meerkat. So are you going to keep your eyes open for the meerkat? Yes. Okay, let's do so it. So I can get a lollipop. Yep. Lollipop. All right, did you want to hold the list? Yes. Okay. And can I also hold your hand? Absolutely. Let's go. Huh? Uh, the meerkat. Of course, we've got to get bananas for Levi. Yep. We can't pass the bananas without thinking of Levi. These ones are cute. We'll do those again. Well, actually, these ones look good. This is Renee's favorite breakfast sausage. This is your favorite sausage. So exciting. Let's go ahead and get four since we're here. A new recipe? Yes. What do you want it to be? It's bacon and my favorite breakfast sausage. So the recipe is bacon and sausage. Bacon and my favorite breakfast sausage. Yeah, that would be one good breakfast, huh? Yep. Can we do it? Do you like that sample? Yeah. Okay. Which ones? We're going to try one of these. I don't want to do pita chips. Maybe some potato kind, like a potato chip, the olive oil ones. We could do that. Come over here, Renee. Let's. Oops. We'll just get a couple of those. I also love. I also love Cheetos, and that Cheetos right here. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna do Cheetos. I think the chips will be good enough. I know you do. They have the plantain crisps back. Did you want some of those? Do you remember those? Yes! I know the other girls really love them. And can we also get the regular? Um, yeah. But can you grab three bags of the regular and we'll get four bags of these. We'll just really stock up since we're here. Yeah, go ahead and grab three. We got so many bags of chips. I know. Good. Pop it in. All right. Find the meerkat? Yes. Yeah, it's hanging upside down. That's so yeah, silly. I need to find a garbage for this. Oh, we'll find one. Don't worry. Look at this. Kale gnocchi. I just saw this on uh, Instagram. Potato starch, chickpea flour. They don't have cassava in this one. We really like the cauliflower gnocchi. Uh, and this was a new product that just came out. I don't know if Autumn would be as excited about kale gnocchi, though. <laughs> okay. Oh, this looks like what we want. See? Chicken strips. I want chicken strips and these. Chicken strips and those. All right, we'll get a couple of those because you know the other kids are going to want them. Autumn can't have all the good stuff to herself. Oof. This might be an expensive grocery haul after all. 
I think saying that you're going to have a small grocery haul at uh, Trader Joe's is like a jinx type thing. I really shouldn't have said it uh, because it ended up being almost $100. So we got a plethora of snacky things because, you know, Trader Joe's is really good for that. Um, these plantain crisps are so good. They're even better, I think, than the regular plantain chips. They are a little pricey, uh, but they've been out of stock for a while and the kids have been asking for them. So when I saw them, I decided to grab four bags uh, for a special treat. And then I got one bag of, oh, I didn't realize they were unsalted. Oops. Oh, well. Uh, white corn tortilla chips. We'll figure out what to do with that. Maybe I'll make some queso to dip them in some really salty queso or something. Um, and then I got three bags of the regular plantain chips. They're a little bit more affordable than those and they're still good. Two of these bags of the chicken uh, chicken strips and they were $7.99 each so that's not cheap at all. I probably would have gotten them a lot cheaper at uh, Costco but I didn't want to make a trip over there so it is what it is. Two big bags of those because you know I can't get just enough for Autumn and her friends. I have to get enough for all of the kids as well. And then we got two bags of the olive oil potato chips so we are set on snacky foods for a while. Then over here, I got a couple things of half and half, and we'll use that for making the mac and cheese, as well as I do the coffee table at our homeschool co-op. So I always need half and half for that. Got some heavy whipping cream, six boxes of the organic shells and white cheddar, again, because I have to get enough for all the kids plus Autumn's friends. And then sour cream, that's for a couple recipes this week that I need. Uh, Mexican cheese blend, Autumn requested that because she likes to mix that into the mac and cheese when she makes it. These were also spendy, um, but I wanted to stock up since we were here. Maple chicken breakfast sausage, and this is Renee's favorite. And whenever I find a protein that's one of the kids' favorite, I like to stock up on it because I always try to get lots of protein in their diet. I got some organic pink lady apples. <laughs> What's a diet? It's just the food that you eat. The food that you eat is your diet. So right now in your diet is a lollipop, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I grabbed these. These make a nice uh, thing to throw into my bag for an easy snack if I need it. They're just uh, beef sticks. And then last thing is bananas for Levi because we bought, what, four or five packs of bananas the other week at uh, Costco and we've already eaten all of them. Uh, mostly Levi has eaten all of them and so we needed some more. So the total that I ended up spending at Trader Joe's was $95.92. Thanks for going shopping with us. If you want to see my meal plan for this week and how I'm going to use some of these groceries for our meals, you can check out uh, my last video that I'll put up here at the end. Also, if you want to see me cooking our meals for the week and how the meal plan actually develops in real life, um, I will have a video coming up in a few days with like a cook with me dinners for the week type video. So look forward to that. I will see you again real soon.